Hi, today we'll be talking about who will need IVF treatment or infertility treatment and how do we, when do we choose the patients to uh, go for IVF. So patients whose tubes are completely blocked, absent or for some reason it has been clipped, then those patients definitely either has to go for a surgery or they have to go for IVF directly. The patients whose uh, husbands have a very low sperm count or oligoasthenospermia. So these are the patients who directly have to go for IVF. There are also patients who have tried every other modalities of infertility treatment like IUI and uh, ovarian stimulation, but still not able to conceive. Even those patients, a uh, next line of treatment would be IVF. And patients who are uh, the lady who is more than 35 years of age and has already tried for a few years for fertility. These patients are the ones who we advise to go for IVF because uh, these patients may have a problem with the quality of oocytes or the number of oocytes. Uh, what are the other treatments other than IVF that is possible? So in the beginning, if the couple have tried for at least an year without using any contraceptive for uh, pregnancy and if they are not been able to be successful, so then these are the uh, patients who have to definitely see a fertility specialist so that we can find out what are the problems that you have, whether the problems are with the lady or with the male. And then accordingly, we can suggest what can be done, any investigations that required and also if some treatment uh, with basic medications which can solve your problem. So uh, there are different stages in which we can uh, treat you. Uh, we can start with basic ovulation to see whether you're ovulating or patients who are uh, having any hormonal issues, we can treat them and then slowly we can go into whether they have any problems with their tubes and male factor infertility, all these things are the ones. The success rate of IVF depends on the couple's problem. So basically, if the couple is very young and the problems are uh, much more simpler, uh, which is not related to the quality of their sperms or oocytes, then the success rates can be as high as 50%. But if the age of the lady is very high or the quality of oocytes are very poor, then it can be as low as 10 to 20%. So this is what I would say, the younger the age of the patient would lead to a better success rate. We at Sparsh Hospital have a very good state-of-art facility for handling all your fertility needs by special group of fertility specialist and expert embryologist. Thank you.